Welcome back to One Footed Phoenix. I hope that you're finding value and enjoying these videos. If you are, I invite you to smash that like button and click the subscribe button down below because it really helps me to grow the channel. Today we're going to be talking about problems that arise as an amputee. So as an amputee, I've noticed that problems arise pretty much every day. And here are a few of my common problems. So problem number one is phantom pain. Phantom pain is my number one nemesis and my number one problem right now because phantom pain means that I can't wear my leg. It means that I can't go to work. It means that I'm pretty much curled up in a ball like all day, every day. And I hate that. But phantom pain is something that was definitely a risk and I knew it was a risk when I amputated but phantom pain is still better than the condition that I had before I amputated. Now, it might not be a whole lot better, but it is better than it was before. Saying that CRPS is worse than amputation is quite the big deal towards CRPS. It tells you just how painful and how excruciating CRPS can be. CRPS stands for Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. If you want to know more about it, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you to my video explaining what CRPS is. Problem number two is phantom itching. Now, phantom itching is not like phantom pain in the sense that it doesn't hurt, but it's excruciatingly annoying. And let me explain. Let's say I have an itch like right here on my leg, but you know, this is my prosthetic, so what do I do? I try to itch my prosthetic. Itch, 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 And you just can't itch it. No matter how hard you try, you cannot itch a phantom itch. Problem number three is wheelchairs and stairs. Now, getting up and down stairs with a wheelchair is near impossible, and there are stairs everywhere you go. Like, everywhere you go. So, Make sure you know how to get around the stairs if you want to go to a fancy restaurant or on a date or if you want to go to the shopping mall. Make sure you have a way to get around those stairs because stairs, when you roll up to them, you're like, oh, great, there's stairs. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and then you have to figure out how to get around them. So my advice is just figure out how to get around them in the first place. Okay, so that leads into problem number four. So why don't I use my crutches to get up and down the stairs? And that's a good question. And in all reality, most of the time I do use my crutches to get up and down the stairs if stairs are the only option to get into some kind of place that I want to go. For example, there's this salon in town that only has a set of stairs because it's in a basement of a house and the only way to get into it is to crutch all the way down the stairs to get to having a massage or getting my hair done and getting into that salon. So in that instance, there's really no other option but to use the crutches. But let me tell you, it is very scary, very, very scary to crutch all the way down the stairs because I usually have to have another person in front of me to make sure that if I do stumble and fall, that I fall into that person. And I don't really attempt to do stairs on crutches all by myself. Problem number five is needing a handicap accessible house. Now, this isn't so much a problem if your house is already fairly handicap accessible, but for someone that becomes an amputee, sometimes they end up having to move because there's too many stairs in their house and they need a wheelchair. So for me, I need the wheelchair and fortunately we have our house set up so that everything is on one level. But as soon as I go to move out on my own, I have to think about the fact that I need a handicap accessible house or a handicap accessible apartment, which unfortunately is usually a lot more money. Problem number six that has arisen is the fact that I can't shave my leg. And if I shave my leg, I will open my leg up to infections and maybe possibly further amputation. So no shaving of the leg and it gets very, very, very hairy. Like just, uh. <laughs> Problem number seven is prosthetic fit issues. Now, a lot of amputees have issues with fitting their prosthetics, but for me, I've had even more issues trying to fit my prosthetic because I'm a CRPS amputee and my leg can't hardly handle any compression on it. So we've had to build my prosthetic to be 
quite different from what a normal below the knee amputee would have because I have this piece and the knee joint and there's a shock absorber here. And so all of this stuff was built in custom for me because I'm a CRPS amputee and because I can't wear a conventional prosthetic comfortably. Now, even this prosthetic, I can't wear comfortably at the moment, but I'm really hoping that after these few treatments of bisphosphonate, that I'm gonna be able to wear my leg again. Problem number eight is probably more of an annoyance than a problem, but everyone, and I mean like everyone, wants to know how I lost my leg when they first meet me. Problem number nine is that more people remember me than I remember them because unfortunately losing a part of your body and not getting it back kind of just sticks in people's brains. Problem number 10 of being an amputee is that some people think that I just run marathons or that I'm gonna go to the Paralympics just because I'm an amputee, but I hate to tell you that not all amputees end up in the Paralympics. Problem number 11 is that you can't s swim in a straight line as an amputee. It actually takes quite a while to learn how to swim in a straight line. Problem number 12 is the fact that your leg gets so sweaty in a prosthetic. Like, nasty sweaty. You look at this, and it's like dripping sweat after you pull it out of your prosthetic leg. Problem number 13 is having to explain to someone that I met online if I'm going on a date with them, that I'm an amputee and possibly that I'm in a wheelchair and explaining to them how that works because they don't always know how to treat a person in a wheelchair. So sometimes it gets a little interesting when I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm an amputee. I'm missing a part of my leg. And also, by the way, I'm stuck in a wheelchair because I can't wear my prosthetic. Problem number 14 is the fact that you're almost always gonna be hungry. And being hungry is because it takes a lot of extra energy to deal with a wheelchair and with a prosthetic. So, less body, more food. Thank you for coming and watching this video. If you would like to subscribe, click the subscribe button down below. And if you would like to see the video that YouTube recommends for you, click over here. Thank you, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!